It is now widely known that a great majority of captive reptiles and amphibians require lighting providing UVB for optimum health. Without diving too deep into biochemistry, it is essential to be able to produce vitamin D3 in the skin. A lack of D3 results in issues metabolising calcium, which can cause bone disease and reproductive issues. These problems manifest all too often in the hobby, regularly seen presented as metabolic bone disease and egg binding in gravid females. MBD can be crippling and often permanent, and egg-bound reptiles can require surgical intervention. On top of these essential processes, correct UVB provision allows reptiles proper vision, activity cycles, and reportedly better coloration and overall vitality. The amount and intensity of UVB required by each species depends on that animal's natural habitat and behaviours. For example, just because a desert environment can reach extremely high temperatures and UV exposure doesn't mean the species living there won't want to avoid those extremes by using shade and refuge. Likewise, many tropical species won't remain in shade cover all day and will actively bask in sunspots to get their much needed UVB requirements. Ferguson zones were developed using studies monitoring 15 reptile species in the wild and measuring their daily UVB exposure as well as the UV index. UVI originated in the sunbed industry as an international standard measuring system relating to the intensity of UV needed to tan human skin. The scale starts at zero and increases with greater UV intensity. From the study by Ferguson and his colleagues, reptiles were grouped into zones of UVI ranges, running from one to four. Zone one being primarily shade dwellers all the way to zone four, midday desert sun worshippers. In short, the maximum UVI of each zone is the natural maximum the allocated species would require. This allows them to self-regulate within their microhabitat. Thanks to this research from 2010, the UVB needs of many more reptiles have been estimated based upon natural behaviours. This information should continue to expand, forming a database is easy for reptile keepers all over the globe to understand and provide the care that animals need. Previously, the strength ratings of UVB lighting was expressed chiefly as percentages, such as 12% or 6%, meaning to say that 6% of the total light spectrum output was UVB because of the amount of UVB emitting phosphors used in manufacturing. There are a few problems with this system, depending on factors such as manufacturing methods, positioning within the enclosure, wattage and age. The actual amount of UVB reaching the reptile can be very different than what is suggested by the percentage alone. Reflectors and guards will also affect the light's output. Therefore, it's simply too inaccurate some products went on to be labelled as desert or tropical light types, which called further complications when keepers would simply label their animal as a desert or rainforest animal, and often ended up with something inappropriate for their animal. We know that reptiles are a lot more complex when it comes to their natural behaviours and needs, and too little or too much exposure can be equally damaging for them over time. Some packaging will still feature percentage values alongside the zone label as there is still a transition going on in the hobby towards this new method. Eventually, percentage labelling of UV should be phased out altogether in favour of the reliable Ferguson zones. Reptile Systems Packaging includes a guide to species UVI and Ferguson zone requirements as well as changes to these values depending on the distance from the particular lighting unit. Generally, a minimum distance of 30 centimetres between the lighting and the animal is considered safe and ideal. Remember, when creating an environment for your animal, that there should be a photo gradient. More intense light in one area, decreasing away from the light source, and some areas with an index of zero, basically complete shade cover, usually achieved with hides and decor. This allows self-regulation by your reptile as they would do in their natural habitat throughout each day. For an accurate reading of UVI within any setup, it is recommended to use an industry standard instrument such as the Solar Meter 6.5. This can show you the specific UVI exposure to your reptile at their distance from the light source, factoring in whether you're using a reflector or any other additional equipment. It also provides a way to keep track of your light's output so you will know exactly when it needs replacing. 
You can find more detailed guides and explanations of Ferguson zones and UVI requirements for reptiles at reptilesystems.eu under Ferguson Zone. The scientific literature on the study is available to access online.